So another day in paradise. Um, today we are in Porto Chica Linhas and we're going on a little tour on one of the little buggies that are so popular around here. I've been seeing them everywhere. Um, they look like a lot of fun. And so yeah, we've hired one out and the guy's gonna take us around for about six hours of the day. Um, so he's gonna take us around like all the kind of spots of Porto Chica Linhas. It's currently 7.30 at the moment, so it's an early start. We're going straight out and yeah, we're going to spend that all morning with us doing more adventures. So uh, let's do it. Let's go. On gear. Shake. with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. Okay guys, so we just arrived at our first stop of the day. It's one of the biggest beaches in Porto de Galinhas. Apparently it's owned by a Norwegian guy who owns this like huge piece of land across the coast here. And it is big, it's very big, it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, we just stopped here just to kind of chill, have a drink, um, get something to eat if you want. And also go in the a little for a little swim I guess. Um, it's still very early, it's eight. It's currently 8 a.m. So yeah, um, just a little quick stop on the buggy and a little refreshment basically. Um, I'm gonna show you some shots of this beautiful beach though. Fresh as always. So yeah, as you can see, like across the whole beach, how big it is. Um, where we're currently sat is like a restaurant uh, right next to the beach. And yeah, right now a lot of people are taking pictures with the corals. Um, you can see in the videos the drone shots of all the corals that reaches across this uh, beach here. Um, so yeah, it's quite quite a, a popular thing for tourists to do is come here and take pictures with the fishes, basically. So we're going to stay here for five more minutes and then we're going back on the buggy to go somewhere else. So as you can see, this is where they all come and take all the tourists. Everyone does the same thing. Here. I'm walking a little bit different now. My ass is hurt. <laughs> My ass hurts a lot. <laughs> this is a much needed break after that little adventure. Um, so we just stopped at another kind of beach. Um, we're gonna be here for an hour. There's loads of different things to do here. 
I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but uh, probably find somewhere to chill. Maybe go for a swim. We'll see. Let's see what happens. So we just stopped again. Time to be a model. <laughs> model poses on the swing. Ottimo. So the drone is fine, the drone survived its full. Just trying to get a cool shot, you know. <laughs> we're currently at a place to visit some seahorses now. It's a very adventurous day for me. But yeah, we're gonna catch a little boat out to find some sea lions. Um, Tommy's never seen a sea lion in our life. I've seen one before, like in yeah, in captivity, not not in the wild. Yeah, dah, that's not the same. So yeah, wild seahorses is our next excursion. Guy on the buggy has just dropped us here and he's gonna wait around here for the moment until we do this little trip. And then I think it's gonna be the end, right? Does he drop us back home? Yeah, and then I think this, after this, um, he just drops us back home, basically. So that'll be it for the morning. <laughs> that's, that's all in one morning. So yeah, a lot of things to do here in Porto Gigalingas. So here's the little place where they take you out to see some seahorses. I'm hoping this is going to be uh, environmental friendly. You know? <laughs> they're, not, they're probably going to end up catching seahorses in jars. But let's see. Hopefully, it's a good trip. macho que tem os filhotes, se é casar lá fêmea ou macho, depois de 10 a 12, 10 a 12 dias a fêmea deu os ovos na bolsa dele, ele tem a dor do parto, um cavalo marinho macho aí desse porte, ele tem capacidade de média de ter mais de 500 a 600 filhotes, como aqui é um berçário e uma cadeia alimentar, sobrevivência são de 2, 3, 5% sobrevive, porque a defesa dele, ele tem essa cauda como um camaleão, a defesa dele é se enroscar na raiz e ficar igual a raiz, é a única defesa que ele tem. Se ele se soltar da raiz, ele é uma presa fácil para os predadores. Mas... Como aqui predomina o marrom, as cores que ele fica é marrom. Esse cavalo marinho aí ele tem capacidade de média de ter mais de 500 a 600 filhotes na barrigada. Como aqui é um berçário, a sobrevivência são de 2, 3, 5% de sobrevivência. Ele vai direto para os galhos e se enrosca. Isso é a defesa dele. Aí, ó. Ó. Hã? Ele fica quanto tempo aí? Ele é... I'm now swimming amongst the seahorses. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't think there's seahorses here. But, yeah, it's beautiful. It's quite a strong current though. If you look, I'm getting taken away from where Tommy is. She's over there. The current's taking me away. So I'm going to have to swim back over there before I end up 
over there somewhere. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. Okay, I gotta swim back. Let me try and swim back. Yeah. So we just finished our uh, little trip for the seahorses. I enjoyed it, it was cool. It was just a little, just a guy showed us that the seahorses are there and just puts them back, you know, no harm done. Ah, that's where he got his nuts. And we were with a Brazilian couple as well and we made friends with them. They were talking about their lifestyles. They were in their 60s, 60 year old couple, just living life and enjoying it. Uh, which was always good to see. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna get back on the on the thing. What's it? Buggy, boogie, boogie. <laughs> and then we're gonna hopefully uh, go for some lunch. Vamos la. This morning was very adventurous and obviously after waking up early, two days in a row, like very early, uh, I feel quite tired now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really cool, cool experience. Uh, the buggy was a lot of fun. Going with someone who lives around Porto G. Galinhas is very good to do because they know all the places to go, all the places to take nice pictures, etc. A little seahorse visit was cool. One of the guides took out, just went for a little quick swim and just took a seahorse to show us and basically explained uh, about their habitats around that area and then just put it back in straight away. So yeah, it was just a little quick thing and then took us over through the little place to have food and drinks. But that whole area right there was so beautiful. It's kind of like where the river meets the sea, um, but yeah, so beautiful there. Um, so yeah, it was nice to see all of that. But the whole trip in general was just really cool. A lot of fun. Of course, guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. I have a link down there, the subscribe button is right down there. So press it. Say inscrevi no mil gano e dam like e por favor. Então, vamos lá. Until the next time, guys. Até mais, até logo. Ciao. Yeah.